DSP tries it. All right, everyone, welcome to DSP tries it. And we've got another new food offering, this time from Wendy's, who we haven't actually checked in with Wendy's in a while. Uh, it's been a while since they've had something new for us to, to check out. And this time, I think they're catching on with this current trend of everyone putting out spicy chicken sandwiches because recently we've checked out other fast food places that have had them and you're going to see many similarities between those places and what Wendy's is offering. So theirs is called the Jalapeno Fresco Spicy Chicken Sandwich and let's take a look at it. It looks quite different from the ones from other places we've gotten. This is a custom bun only for this sandwich. It is a red jalapeno bun. So apparently baked into the bun itself, there are jalapeno peppers that are spicy. On the sandwich, you've got a ghost pepper. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, like as we've talked about recently, the new fad in fast food is the ghost pepper. So ghost pepper sauce with minced jalapenos on the top of the sandwich. Those are minced green jalapenos. A couple pieces of onion. Under that, you've got a slice of Colby Jack cheese. It's a combination of Colby and Monterey, Monterey Jack cheeses, excuse me. And then underneath that is a standard spicy chicken breast from the standard spicy chicken sandwich. So basically, it's the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's kicked up a huge notch with several different kinds of peppery, uh, you know, heat ingredients. Now, I am not a person who typically would get a spicy sandwich, but... For the sake of DSP tries it, I've done it. I'm gonna let you know, typically I do like Wendy's regular spicy chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good a good spice to the, to the meat. I'm curious to see how all these additional ingredients are going to be. I can tell you, first thing is very aromatic. I'm smelling a lot of the pepper coming off of this thing towards me. Now it's not like, oh my God, my nostrils are singed or anything, but I can definitely smell it. So that's a good thing, right? It's a good starting sign at least. So let's take a look, let's see what it's like. This is going to be an interesting one. So as I pick it up, you can see the chicken is so big it actually overlaps the bun. So that's a good sign, right? Huge piece of chicken for some other chicken sandwiches that I've had recently. <laughs> so what I want to do is kind of get a bite that's going to get everything in one bite. The sauce, the cheese, the peppers right here, maybe an angled bite might do it. So I'm going to go right here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. The tea all over my face. <laughs> so, initially there's a little bit of kick. I can tell you right now, the aftertaste, ooh, I'm starting to get spice now, man, in my, on my tongue, in my mouth. And that's the ghost pepper, I can tell. Ooh. Very cheesy. In fact, it's probably one of the cheesier sandwiches that I've had. The sauce, the ghost pepper sauce has cheese, the melted cheese, everything's very cheesy. So it's like a hot cheese sandwich with a lot of, a lot of heat to it. All right, I'll take another bite. Hmm. That bite had a little bit less of the sauce. Ooh. Oh, but it's still hot on the way down. Man, it is a spicy sandwich. This is actually quite surprising to me because for years these fast food places have been saying hot, spicy, and it's never, it's always mild because they're afraid. This is actually pretty spicy. If you eat this fast, you can have significant burning in your throat. And I would even say, I can't eat, if I didn't have this with me, I couldn't eat this sandwich, but it's good. If you like spiciness, this is really good. And a, a direct comparison I can make recently, I made the I ate the Jack in the Box blazing chicken sandwich. I'm actually gonna say this is a little better because number one, the chicken's bigger. Number two, a special bun. That's really cool to have a specialty bun with with you know some kind of flavoring to it. And the cheesiness, I like the cheesiness. Now, if you don't like the cheesiness, you're probably not gonna like the sandwich. If you're just looking for heat and no cheese, avoid this. But I like the combination and the fact there's so many unique ingredients that you can only get on the sandwich in it. I like that. So I'll take one more bite and then I'll give you my rating here. Oh. Well, we just saw one problem. Because the pepper pieces are chopped, 
instead of whole jalapeno pepper rings like they would typically put, as you can see, look, they're starting to come off the sandwich. So that could be a little annoying. Look, it's even starting to drip. I'm sure as I eat, it's more and more is gonna pile off of this thing. So, so, final summary. If you like spicy food, you're gonna like this. If you like cheesy food, you're gonna like this. If you don't like that combination, you won't, because there is a strong cheese flavor to it. It's got a great kick. It's the spiciest thing I've ever had from Wendy's before. And it's a lot of food, too. It's a heavy, giant sandwich with the size of the chick spicy chicken breast they put on it. It's a good combination of flavors. I like it. Uh, it's going for roughly, I think it's just under $5. And it's a good price for that because it's a hefty sandwich, unlike some other ones we've tried recently that were really small. This is really good. But I strongly recommend whew, having some kind of a refreshing beverage next to you because if not, you get that afterburn in your throat that might kill you. I'm going to give this sandwich, surprisingly enough, a 4.5 out of 5. I actually think... It's a unique offering from a fast food place that if you're looking for something spicy, it's a different take on the chicken sandwich. And it's a lot of unique, the, the reason really primarily, the unique ingredients. Look at all the unique ingredients you can only get on this sandwich and not any other sandwich. That's what I like about it. So 4.5 out of 5 for the Wendy's Jalapeno Fresco Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Pretty good. That's it for DSP Tries It. I'm going to try to finish this with my drink next to me very carefully. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Whew.